Hello, thanks for tuning in. This is Spencer with Computer Advantage. I'm going to do another video on the Sonos controller app. We're working with version 5.4 just for reference sake. And I want to go over how to use and manage the Sonos Q. It can be a little bit daunting when you first start out, but once you understand it, you'll understand and it'll make sense and it'll be a great feature that you enjoy your Sonos system with. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so let's go ahead and open the Sonos controller app on our iPhone. And today we want to go over Sonos Playlist, Favorites, and the Queue. So I'm going to go ahead and tap on the Menu button, which we talked about in a previous video. And I'm just going to go to my Favorites, because I already have some music ready. So I'm just going to go to Favorites, and I'm going to pick a Sonos Playlist. So let me just go to the demo songs here. And these are just a few demo songs. And uh, what I have the ability to do is highlight an individual song, so I can highlight a song. I can choose to play it now, play it next, add to queue, or replace queue. And what this means is this is just different ways to add it to the queue. All of these add it to the queue. It just depends on what's going to happen. So if I just tap on play now, it will start playing. And you can hear it, and we can turn it up and you can hear it playing. And again, it's playing in uh, four different rooms right now. So I'm going to go back, I'm going to close the, the window here by tapping on the down triangle and it's going to take me right back to where I last was in my navigation. So I was going to pick another song um, and I'm going to hit play now. And when I hit play now it interrupts whatever is currently playing and starts playing that song. So let's go back and what these other options are. If I pick another song and I hit play next it doesn't in interrupt the current song playing. And so now what's going to happen is if I tap down at the bottom to see what's playing now, I can go to my cube icon, which is in the very bottom right hand corner. And if I tap on the cue icon, I can see all my music in the cube. And so there was already some music in here, but you can see, I can see clearly now, everyone plays the fool and faces of the heart. And you can see right here with the equalizer bouncing that everyone plays the fool is what is currently playing. And then next is going to play Faces of the Heart. So by using the option play next, it did not interrupt what was currently playing in my room. So if I am entertaining or just want to have music flow continuously without interruption, I can just hit play next or add to cue. So let's go back and explore those other options. So I'm going to click on the X, tap on the X to get rid of that. I'm going to tap on the triangle. And now let's just pick another song. And now I'm going to say play next again. And you can see it added to the queue. If I tap on here, what we'll see is that a love supreme is now going to play next before Faces of the Heart because I said play next. So let's see how that is different than our other options. So if I pick almost like the blues, and I say add to queue, and go down here, go back to my queue in the bottom corner, you can see that it just added it at the very bottom of the queue. So play next, plays it next, add to queue, puts at the bottom of the queue. Whether you have 10 songs or 100 songs, it'll put it at the very bottom of the queue. Oh, and I tapped on something. So we'll play that. I tapped on it so it plays it. The next option is if I just pick another song and I hit replace cue, we will get a warning message on here. Are you sure you want to replace the cue? And let's just go ahead and sure where we're sure we want to do that. And what you'll see now if I go to the cue is it cleared out the 10 songs or so that I had in my cue and replaced it with this one song. Now I'm just going to pause it and I'm going to tap on the X to get rid of it. Tap on the triangle to go back. And I want to show you one more thing about the queue. If I tap on all tracks, I can add all these tracks. So let me just hit play now, or let's, let's just hit play now. And what it's going to do, it's going to add all of those to my queue. So now let's go ahead, and I'm going to just pause it by tapping on it. Close the queue. I'm going to hide it. And I'm going to go back, and I'm going to do a search. So maybe I want to um, do a search and we're going to do um, a search and we're going to make a playlist as we're making our queue. So what I'm going to do is do a search for um, some different songs. And I'm just going to look for some 
some of your favorite tunes. So let's type in Justin Bieber here. So I'm going to type in Justin Bieber, and we're going to see that I have Justin Bieber in my music library, which is on a NAS drive on my network. I have some Justin Bieber on the phone, and then I have Justin Bieber in Beats and Deezer, and I have Pandora stations. Well, I don't want a station, I want individual songs, so I'm just going to go to my music library, and we'll just pick a song from here. So one time, we'll just take one time, and I'm going to go ahead and just hit replace queue. So I want to start fresh. It's going to give me that warning sign when I'm deleting the whole queue, which is a good thing so you don't do that on accident. And so it's going to replace the queue and start playing. I'm going to go ahead and pause it and just show you again that what that queue looks like. Only one song now because I hit replace. I'm going to go back. And next thing I want to do is I'm going to do another search. And this time I'm going to search for another Justin. How about Justin Timberlake? And now I can see I don't have any Justin Timberlake on my phone or my um, library, but I can pull them up from different music services. So I'm going to go ahead and pull up Justin Timberlake. We'll just do beats for now. And let's just say, what song do we want? Let's just go to popular tracks. All right, so now we can see the popular tracks. And so we can just pick something for this example. It doesn't really matter. So I'm just going to put pick a song. And I'm going to just hit add to queue. So what that does, if I go back to the queue one more time, you can see that it's playing second in my queue. So let's get back. And now I'm going to do another search. I'm going to clear out Justin Timberlake and I'm going to just do another search. I'm going to just do Kelly Clarkston. So Kelly Clarkston shows up. I'm going to go down and this time instead of going to Beats, I'm going to go ahead and go to Deezer, which is a high resolution music service uh, that gives you much better sound quality than uh, services like Beats, Spotify, um, things like that. It's about five times the qual resolution, which translates to better quality. So we can just go to Top Tracks, and you know, we'll just pick Since You've Been Gone. That's you know, a popular song, or at least it used to be. And I'm going to hit Add to Queue. And so now I have a queue, so you can see how you can build your queue. I could also go, and maybe we'll just do one more thing, and I'm just going to say... Let's just go to her, her albums and let's just grab the piece by piece album and say I want to add this whole album. I'm just going to tap complete album, add to queue. So now it says we added 16 songs. Let's go look at my queue. So I have the Justin Bieber, Justin Timberlake, Since You've Been Gone, and then the whole album by Kelly Clarkston, which looks like it has a lot of songs, 16 of them. Now, this is great. I can play this music and it's going to play exactly in this order to any room I have selected uh, for Sonos. I can also shuffle it, so if I tap on shuffle, it will rearrange that music. And I can also tap on repeat, so that way when it gets to the end of the queue, it will continue on. So that way if you're entertaining and you don't want the music to stop, even if the party goes longer than expected, you can keep it playing. So now I want to do take it a step further and say, you know what, I really like this queue. I spent time getting just the right songs, for maybe I'm working out at home or my dinner party and I just want to save it. Maybe it's just my favorite songs. So I'm going to tap on save. And this allows me to save my queue as a playlist. Or I can replace an existing one. So if I used to have a great workout mix and I don't like it anymore, I could pick my workout mix and say this is my new one. Let's just rename this and we'll just do you know, some pop music. So I'll just name it pop. You know. Pop faves. We'll just do something easy. My pop phase, I'm going to hit save. And so now what that allows me to do is I'm going to clear out my queue. And I can go back to my main menu. So I'm just going to keep swiping until I get back to my main menu. I'm going to cancel that search. And now instead of having to go through and find each individual song again, I can just go to my Sonos playlist. And then we can see my pop faves are right here. I can hit all tracks and play now. And now it's going to put those tracks right back in my queue. And we'll pause that for now. We'll go ahead and close that out, go back to our main screen. And so that's how I make, use my queue and how I make a Sonos playlist. What's really neat about the playlist is I can mix and match. If you remember, I added the Justin Bieber song from my music library. 
I added Justin Timberlake from my Beat subscription. And I added Kelly Clarkson from my Deezer subscription. So I took three different sources of the music. One coming from my local network, two coming from the internet, streaming from the internet. And I mix and match them to make one playlist in one queue. So it's a great way to mix and match. Say you have a bunch of music you want to use, but not everything you need for this event. You can mix and match with your online services and get access to their 27 or 30 million different tracks along with the, the music you have on your computer or hard drive. Now I can take it one step further if I just go to my favorites and I'm going to come here and I can edit it so I can go edit and now I can remove you know really I didn't want all these songs so I can either swipe them I can tap it and just tap delete and I can get rid of some of those songs and I can hit done and now I have a much shorter list. Let's go back to the queue and I just want to show you one more thing about the queue. Say this was my favorite queue, but then I realized, you know what, for some reason I really don't like this song anymore. I can delete it out of the queue very quickly. Now, this will not change my playlist unless I save and I hit replace pop faves. So that way, if I just say, you know, I'm not really feeling those songs today, I can delete them without deleting my whole playlist or changing my playlist permanently. It's all temporary. And remember, anything we do in Sonos is only changing your settings in Sonos. It's not actually ever going to delete music from your music library on your computer or your hard drive. It's just changing the Sonos system. So we're on our playlist. Let's go back to favorites. So I'm going to swipe and go to my Sonos favorites. And I'm going to tap on these three little dots and I'm going to edit favorites. And so this is where I could go to my favorites. I could delete any of these favorites if I ever wanted to change my mind. So if I didn't want that station here anymore, I can get rid of it. Now, if I want to add something to my favorites, it's very simple. Let's just go to Pandora, since we haven't done Pandora yet. So I'm going to go to Pandora, and these are all my stations on my Pandora account. You can see there's a ton of stations. I probably don't have this many favorites. They just have been used at one point in time. So let's just say we have, um, you know, it's Christmas time, so I want to grab my Christmas song. So I'm going to grab that, and I say, you know what? I want to add this to my Sonos favorites because it's Christmas time, and I want to really listen to it a lot. So I'll go to Add to Favorites. And so now if I go back to my Sonos Favorites, so there's the Christmas Pandora station right in my favorites so I can get to it quickly and easy during the holidays. So let's go back to the menu and let's go to Playlist. Say so now I want to take my pop favorites and make that a, a favorite as well because I listen to this one a lot. So I'm going to go to All Tracks and I will go down to Add Sonos Favorite. And now it's in my Sonos Favorites. So let's go ahead and go back to the menu. And we can see that it's now in my Sonos favorites. So that's an easy way uh, to organize your music within Sonos is using your favorites because I can mix and match from any service in terms of radio stations, Pandora stations, songs of stations, or music within a music service like Beats, Deezer, or your library. And then the playlist will let you mix and match from the services, the on-demand services. You can't add Pandora stations to a playlist because the station is basically Pandora's playlist. So that's how you can add music to your queue, how you can delete music from your queue, how you can create favorites and playlists within the Sonos app on your iPhone or on your iPad.